KWTX is expanding our network of radars to help bring the best coverage of storms to Central Texas. In this week's Degrees of Science, we're chatting with the Chief Meteorologist Brady Taylor to learn more about this new radar and how it's going to benefit us. So Brady, can you tell me a little bit more about this new radar? Yeah, so you know, all TV stations use what's called NEXRAD radars. So those are what the National Weather Service uses to help us know what's going on in storms. Great radars, but now we're adding another radar in Hamilton that will help us see storms better as they're developing and pushing through Central Texas. And why is it so important for Central Texas to get this new radar? So the, the importance is when you're watching storms on radar, you want the most accurate kind of low level view. You know, we're, we're great. We've got a great team of meteorologists looking at data. We've got great storm chasers going out, but now we can see lower in the storm. So the lower you see, the better the, uh, the rotation you can see inside the storm, see what's moving around in it. And the problem we run into now is we have a radar in uh, Granger, we have a radar in Fort Worth, but with the curve of the earth, the farther you get away from that radar, the higher you see in the storm and it limits some of the ability we have to really alert people first when it comes to strong storms. And so why is the radar located in Hamilton? So Hamilton's kind of a hole in our area, really our west and northwestern counties. If you think the city of Hamilton's about 80 to 90 miles away from the Fort Worth radar and just about the same from the Granger radar. So it, the radar's hitting way up high in the sky so we don't get a good low level view of the storm. So the reason that we put it or it's put in Hamilton is not only is there that hole, but if you think a large majority of our storms that move in, particularly spring storms, start in our western counties or off to the northwest. So this will allow us to see storms earlier, get a better view of them and alert people better on what's going on and hopefully provide the information they need to get to be safe with these storms. And so this past spring, we had a few of those storms located right in that radar gap. Yeah. Uh, and so how are we going to be, you know, seeing some improvements from this? I know we both kind of yeah. experienced that. Yeah, this year. <laughs> so back, back in April, we had back to back weeks of really strong storms. We had the one that brought the baseball size hail to China Spring. The next week we had a storm that eventually produced a tornado across parts of Fort Hood. That storm formed around Pottsville, which is out in rural Hamilton County. From Hamilton westward, particularly anywhere in most of Hamilton County, uh, you need to be taking tornado precautions right now. We've got a significant storm that is showing pretty significant rotation. We're hitting the storm a little high up in the thunderstorm, so we're not going to see right down to the ground, but you see these reds and these greens. That is signs that this is significant rotation inside of this storm and something that we've got to watch very closely with. Well, now with this radar, it will have a better view. It will see lower in the storm and allow us to know on these fast moving developing storms what's going on. We got good view of it because we had storm chasers out there that were able to see the low levels, but now we can see the rotation. We can see the potential for hail growth. We can see the heavy rain on storms that we didn't see very well. And you've got a perfect example of the hail back in June with a storm near Goldway, right? Yeah, so I mean, it was probably right after midnight. We had this storm that just would not give up. It was moving through Brownwood and just continued to strengthen. It was the same thing. It was showing some broad level rotation, but really it was all about the hail and the radar was estimating, you know, penny size to golf ball hail. And then we are starting to get pictures from viewers at home showing baseball size hail. So it just shows you, yeah, where that radar is scanning in these storms and I mean, it would be really helpful that yes. night, you know, because yes. it's, it's already dark and we don't really have ground truth of what's going on until people can send it in. So, yeah, I'm really looking, I'm looking forward to this yes. radar. I think it's going to be a great tool mm. for us. Um, as far as, you know, the technology and our app, we have a lot of tools mm -hmm. that we use. So what is the radar going to be looking like for people that uh, will have access to it? Yeah, when you watch it on TV, you'll, you'll notice a clarity to it compared to what we see with the next radar, radars. So it's interesting. It's not huge. It's a, and it doesn't use a lot of power. It's a thousand watts. Of, uh, of power in it, but it's going to give us all the same products the National Weather Service does, but what it's called an X-band radar. It's actually the most precise and uh, fine-tuned radar there is, so we will have better clarity to see you know, any hooks in the storm or any uh, exact details in it. And when it comes to our app, here soon it will be a, a layer inside of our app, so you can look at the, the composite radar of all the radars that the National Weather Service use, but here in Central Texas you'll get to see our radar and see how it looks in your area. So, you know, it, it's just another tool in our tool belt. I mean, we've got the most experienced weather team in Central Texas. Again, we have more storm chasers we can send out than anybody. Now we have the best radar in Central Texas that expands our network allow us to see stuff that we may have never seen before and provide those warnings earlier, more accurate information as storms are moving in. Well, I hope uh, one thing's for sure, and that's we get some rain. Yes. So we can actually <laughs> use this yeah. radar because, yeah, it's very oh, uh, yeah, hot it's and dry. It's going to be a dusty radar. Hopefully, yeah, we, I hopefully it'll bring us some rain. That would and be nice. Yeah. Some good luck, yeah. that's for sure.